Hey everybody, this is Chris from Train by Techs coming to you from my driveway. I figured I'd show you this little quick diagnostic on this 2002 Audi. Um, the complaint is the cooling fans, they stay on with the key off and it's ice cold. Let's go plug this cooling fan back in. And now we'll wait. There she goes. What I did is I unplugged the cooling fan control module, which is right here, just to shut this off. Now let's go diagnose this thing. So we see the fan is running all the time. So what I need to know to diagnose this any further is, is the fan being told to run all the time or is something frozen? What we really need is a diagram. So with the help of Brian Colada, he'll put a diagram right around here and we'll go look at it together. What we see is that this red and white wire right here is the control wire for the cooling fan control module. So what I would really like to do is hook up my scope to it and uh, see if the computer is telling this fan to turn on. I'm um, not using anything crazy today. I'm just using my old Modus. It's still my stand, still my go-to when, when things aren't that serious. So let's hook up to it and we'll get right back. Now you can see that we're pierced onto the control wire and we're also grounded here at the battery to reference zero. And we can see while that's going on, we're at zero volts here which means the computer is not telling this fan to turn on. Let's just double check our work. Plug the fan back in. Wait. We jumped over here to almost 12 volts here while it's running. What we should be seeing is a square wave if the computer is controlling this fan to turn on. What I believe is happening is, is something is back feeding in the cooling fan control module right here. So my hypothesis is that the cooling fan control module right here is internally shorted and back feeding 12 volts or almost 12 volts back along this control wire to the ECM, keeping the fan running. So how can I test this? The easiest way uh, would be to find some way to disconnect this wire, plug it back in, plug everything back in, and if the cooling fan stays running, we know we have a problem with the cooling fan control module. If the fan shuts off, then the problem has to be somewhere else, like a ECM dropping communication, transmission control module dropping communication, or maybe a sensor shorting out or something like that. So this will be the first easiest test to give us a direction to go in. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually de-pin this connector. It's easy enough. You pop off this purple cap. There's two. There's a lock in there. You slide the wire out, put everything back together. Bob's your uncle, and we're good to go. No harm, no foul. Let me get right back to you. All right. Connector's been de-pinned. I put the purple cap back in. Now all that's left is to plug the cooling fan control module back in and see if the fan stays running. Good. Let's go put that fan. As you can see, the cooling fan ran with the control wire, this guy right there, completely unplugged. 
nothing was telling it to turn the fan on. The only thing that this can be is a faulty cooling fan control module. It's actually a pretty common uh, failure on these Audis and Volkswagens. All right, so I'm gonna get the new one put in there. That'll fix the problem. So I went ahead and ordered a brand new uh, fan control module from Audi, um, but I wanna test it before I put it in. So how would I do that? I mean, I could just went and go ahead and solder all the wires together, install it and hope everything's good, but I wanna verify my diagnosis first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hook a light up to the fan output wires and I'm just gonna plug it in. And if the problem is still there, the light would the light would turn on, showing that the fan module is shorted or something's being controlled. So if the light doesn't light up, that means the this module is not telling the fan to turn on. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I have here, just a basic tail light bulb uh, from, that I saved from doing an old tail light job. And, uh, and I, what I did is hooked up some spade connectors to this so I could adapt it to kind of leads or whatever. And I have that with my some, some leads from my AES Wave uh, breakout kit um, hooked to some wires. So all I'm gonna do now is just hook, you know, one, one, to, uh, one to here, one to here, and that should, that should replace the load for the fan. So we'll hook it up. And if I can do this one-handed, we will plug it in. Okay, come on. There we go. All right, we're plugged in. Now, if all is well, this light bulb should stay off. And it is. That is enough for me to say, let's put this fan control module in. All right, that was pretty easy. Any questions or comments, uh, leave them down. We'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye-bye.